Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 22nd of December 2022. So just before we get into the Market Alert, uh, this is going to be the last one for this year. I will return on uh, the 3rd of January, which is a Tuesday following the bank holiday Monday. I'm sure the markets will be back open by then. So uh, like I say, before we get into it, I just wanted to wish you all the best for the festive season and also for 2023 as well and say a massive thank you for your support during the last year of uh, taking your time and sacrifice to watch uh, these videos it's uh, very very much appreciated okay let's get into uh, the news for yesterday we saw the markets move up santa rallies returned as it says here stocks rally after horrible housing data rate high gods uh, sink a uh, U.S. macro surprise continues to sink, now negative at its lowest since September. Obviously, uh, this uh, graphic to the left there represents uh, a lot of people getting screwed. Uh, I would have thought is uh, what it's implying there, and absolutely right as well. Stocks lift on strong earnings data and consumer confidence holiday thinning trade. Uh, yeah, and that's why I'm going to finish today, because tomorrow it's going to be even thinner. Uh, U.S. stocks were firmer Wednesday with the bulk of gains coming at the time of the New York cash open. There you go. Just mark the prices up. Nobody's buying. We'll just mark the prices up. Economic news today. Just a couple. Uh, final GDP for the U.S. and also unemployment claims. They're the weekly ones. Uh, I've just brought the implied volatility back uh, because uh, it's just made a, a new low. I look at it each morning as I update it. And if it's worth including, then I do. And you can see we're heading back down to this sort of level where we might get a failed rally to the upside with the implied dropping off over the next uh, week and a half and then uh, getting the correction that we want. So again, you can see we're just dropping into that area. So it's the lowest it's been for a few weeks, but it's not as low as it was in August of uh, this year. So we need to get down to that. And it will do as we go through the Christmas season, as long as the market continues to move higher. If not, then we'll get the opposite. But uh, I'm just keeping an eye on this and we'll continue to update it. And uh, even though this is the last uh, sort of official one, if there is something that kicks off or whatever, then I just may return because I will be here. I'm not uh, going anywhere and can't uh, help myself. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Gold-silver ratio um, down on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, the market uh, finding a bit of support. It was Monday, actually, uh, Wednesday, uh, up yes yesterday, and uh, overnight. Uh, it's also uh, sideways to higher there. Okay, let's uh, kick off and have a look at the stock markets. We'll start off with uh, the Dow and then work our way through to the S&P. And in the Dow, uh, yesterday we marked up all of these areas of uh, resistance. The market traded up to the 38% yesterday. Uh, today, given that uh, it's going to be thinly traded as well, they could trade up to the 50 EMA, uh, sorry, the 50 FIB and the 20 bar uh, moving average there as well. So uh, there's not a lot of great distance between those two numbers. Uh, yesterday, you see, as it said in the headline, the cash market lifted the Dow, bringing prices up. Uh, currently at yesterday's high, where it wouldn't take a lot to actually break through this and move higher. Uh, 20 bar moving average is going to be support, as is the close, as is the DP and uh, the 50 EMA there. So major support area around here if market does drop down to this level. Um, however, given that it's Christmas and most traders are already starting to clear the desks, I would imagine that it's going to continue to move through the high. German DAX, a bit different than the Dow, managed to get through the 38 uh, at the close of yesterday, now heading to the 50% retracement. 62 has the 20 uh, bar moving average as a resistance, unlike the Dow, which is at uh, 50%. In the 30-minute chart, uh, again, you can see yesterday the market uh, traded down and the close, and they bought into it, and they brought the market back, and it's the way it stayed. And then overnight, the market has traded through the high, so that's going to become a support, and we're still above the five-bar moving average at the moment, and the R1 is the next upside target. In the five-minute chart uh, for yesterday, a bit of a galling day for me because I was actually in at the bottom of this move, uh, in the one minute time frame, put the stop too close, got taken out. And then uh, when I came back, the market had uh, moved. So lesson learnt there. And that's it through the torture of watching it go up all day, which uh, 
I'd already alluded to in yesterday's market alert, and that's precisely what it did. That said, it's been a reasonable week. Um, let's just have a quick look, and uh, you'll see there 62230, 6.81 on the Profit factor, you can see I was starting to have a couple of losers because of frustration and whatever yesterday afternoon. Um, having missed the, the move, and that's uh, always, a, you know, sort of the drop off in profits is indicative of that frustration that we've all had and go through on occasions. Uh, but 65 uh, 35 for the uh, win loss ratio for the week, and then there's today's profits, uh, um, and that will probably be uh, it for uh, this uh, week. So let's move on and have a look at the S&P. In the S&P, nowhere near the 38% retracement yet, but if it does get there, it's got the 50 EMA to contend with as well en route. Uh, if it breaks through there, the 50 FIB has also got the 20 bar moving average as well. 30 minute chart, again, you can see the cash Dow and uh, S&P there driving the market higher from the open and they'll probably do the same again today unless there is any other news in the FTSE big move up yesterday for this this actually trading up to 89% uh, retracement from here projected back and uh, we've got this other one to replace it from here back to this 78 and uh, 89 there as well so let's just uh, remove these here so we've got the 89 as I say from there back to there and then we've got the 78 above this from the bigger swing there. In the 30 minute chart, uh, it was just uh, non-stop all the way yesterday. We've got a bit of a three bars where it traded sideways uh, were red, uh, but other than that, so it just kept moving and uh, marched strongly with the uh, Dow at 2.30 p.m. In the currencies, uh, the JPY, uh, GBP JPY is uh, sideways at the moment, sitting at 62 from uh, the move down uh, the other night. I think that was Tuesday, uh, early hours of Tuesday morning. Wednesday was uh, sideways and then of course uh, sideways with a bit of support there at the moment. So yesterday had a bit of a spring to the upside of 100 points and then got hammered uh, back down after coming down initially uh, as well during the session. Uh, we're at uh, the low of yesterday. Markets bounced off this and now stuck at the close. We need to get above the 50 the BRN and also the DP there if this market is to move higher. Meanwhile in the pound, uh, this uh, also trading at uh, just under 78%, 62, 200 MA and uh, trying to bounce off this needs to close above the 20 and the 5 moving average in the daily chart to show any strength moving back to the upside. Uh, these are the targets on the upside for the FIBS in the pound and in the 30 minute chart uh, yesterday the market uh, attempted to move higher hit uh, the close reversed off this took out the DP and uh, then we saw the market uh, trade all the way down to the S1 we had a bounce back to the DP which became resistance we had some supply there market back down 20 bar becoming a resistance level and then going down just below the low before uh, retracing and then making its way back overnight. So we're above the DP now and uh, the 50 EMA. We've got the 200 at the R1 if prices continue to move higher. Meanwhile, in the US dollar, this uh, moving us, uh, sideways to lower overnight. Let me just check that this is, yep, that's right, it's the right date. I did have the wrong chart in yesterday. Uh, it was the December contract which had expired. Um, which uh, was a fat lot of good, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, the dollar is uh, down uh, overnight there. And in the 30 minute chart, let's have a quick look and uh, see what's uh, happening. Reset the chart. Uh, there you can see that uh, it's been down over the last uh, 24 hours. And uh, this is, of course, lent support to the metals, which uh, we'll look at now. So in the uh, silver market, uh, prices uh, up this week. Uh, up strongly and over 24 on Tuesday. Wednesday, they brought the market back just slightly, but managed to get back above that level. And overnight, uh, holding there as well. Uh, there's the 24 level. You can see that uh, it's creating a bit of a resistance. The market's struggling to hold above this. But saying that, when it gets through, it then has another look at uh, these uh, levels. 
So a bit of bit of strength, and it's been a good move over the last uh, few uh, weeks as well in the metals markets, as can be seen there because of the dollar weakness. In uh, gold, we can expect to see this continue to move higher in uh, 2023, as well as the dollar declines, and uh, if the Fed pivot, even more so. There's your 30 minutes of gold. This uh, trading up. Uh, still above the $1,800, which is important. We did manage to uh, run up uh, yesterday to uh, what's the high of uh, this bar. We managed to get up to uh, 1823 so 1850 was uh, where it was heading, and that will be a blue line just above there. And uh, you can see there that uh, we find a bit of resistance at uh, the uh, level, or this level here, the 1820 uh, overnight. Uh, but as long as it stays above the DP, 20 bar, 50 and close and uh, the BRN here, uh, then uh, we can expect to see uh, gold prices uh, continue their sideways to higher move over the next few weeks. Right, that's it uh, for this one. Uh, like I say, uh, this will be the last one till the 3rd of January. Unless something big kicks off, then I will uh, uh, appear. But otherwise, uh, have a great uh, time, have a rest and uh, enjoy the festivities, etc. And I will see you uh, in the new year. So uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.